Nation. The Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN Headline News Update. Hi folks, Basil Chapman here. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 3 p.m. Eastern Time market update. Dow's up 406 at 34,052. Wow, 34,331 was the high February the 14th. It dropped sharply to 31,429. Uh, that was almost a 3,000 point decline. And now it's come all the way back in a very short period of time. If you look at the left side, right side price time match on this daily chart on the left, it says that by Monday, we should get in close to the 34,300s, but there's no guarantee because this so far looks like it could become um, a Marabosa candle. Uh, very Usually they don't have wicks, but there's a tiny little wick at the bottom. We'll see where we close. Day is young. We'll see what happens. I want to see a break of this inside track repellent zone in the weekly chart, and that will also help the monthly chart on the right. Looking at the S&P, let's just do this quickly. S&P is up very sharply at 55 at 4,147. It really needs to get to the 4,158 area or so by Monday. Uh, before Monday, actually, but hopefully by Monday, to say it's trying to get to a leg D in the weekly chart above the 4195.44 high that was made in February. Looking at the QQQ NDX 100 trading vehicle, the Invesco QQQ Trust Series, nice move up at 319.09. If there's if there's a, any pullback and it holds 315, but is able to get to 320. Point twenty somewhere around there. That's three twenty one point forty five. Oh no, sixty three high that was made uh, on the fourth of April will become a target for a cup formation to retest the high. That'll be very important to help the weekly as well. IWM is not looking all that great. It's doing well today, but it's not a great look chart looking uh, pattern. Two sixty at one seventy eight up two sixty. Gold is pulled back just a little from the high. It's up 27 at 2051. It is at a resistance. It is getting close to a resistance level, but still very, very strong. And that's because the dollar is so weak. But the dollar is getting to the 100.82 level. Today's low is 100 point. Whoops. Uh, just above that. So I'm watching to see, does the dollar start to form some kind of a bounce early next week so that gold can pull back and we'll see what happens to the markets. We'll see. I'm going to hand you over to, Jay, to Jacob in a moment. Uh, Tommy's out and we've got uh, right now, I'm going to hand you, oh, where to go? Right there. To uh, Jacob Schuper and he's coming up and he'll be doing the Tom O'Brien Show. Have a wonderful day. Check out my opening call, my daily newsletter and I hope you have a great evening. See you tomorrow at 10 a.m.